to mention a few, there is bacon, fuerte, Haas, and Negra de la Cruz avocado. Today we'll be making Haas avocado with pico de gallo. Getting started with the Haas avocado, I have ingredients here that I will be using to incorporate with the um, avocados. And I'm going to show you what we need for the Haas avocado. Okay, so you will need onion, tomatoes, Haas avocado, lemon, cilantro paste, chives, feta cheese. Now this is my preference. You can use whichever one you like. You will need some parsley, black pepper, salt, olive oil, a lemon squeezer. Okay, so let's get started with the ingredients that we have here and with the avocados. So we're going to incorporate this together. I have an onion here that I am going to cut two more layers of. I like my onions to be cut into small cubes. I don't like them too chunky. So here I am going to chop them real, real small. I also have a tomato here that I'm going to cut. As you can see, I'm going to cut that end there. I'm going to also cut it in half. I personally do not like the seeds in the middle section, so I'm going to cut around it and I'm going to scrape off the seeds. There's still some seeds there, so I'm going to do it to the other half. I'm going to scrape them off. There's still some seeds there, so I'm just going to run, right now rinse them off. Here I'm going to tap dry the tomatoes. Make sure that they're dry. I'm also going to cut these into small cubes. Again, I do not like, like thick either onions or tomatoes. I like mine's very, very small cubes cut. So here I have this glass bowl that I will be putting in the ingredients in to mix them and marry them together for the avocados. So we're going to go ahead and put in the onions. Now we're going to put in the tomatoes. I'm going to push the bowl to the side and cut the lemon. This one's a little big, but it's okay. I'm going to cut it in half. Now we're going to place it into the lemon squeezer. You can put as much lemon as you like. It's up to your preference. Now we're going to put some cilantro paste. Now this tastes really, really good. Now I'm just going to put my lemons to the side. I'm going to add two pinches of black pepper and three little pinches of salt. I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil and some parsley. I'm going to mix these together. 
Make sure that the seasoning and the tasting is right. I'm going to add a little bit of more cilantro paste. Now this cilantro paste here is made with organic cilantro and it also says that you can try it in salsa, fajitas, and guacamole. So this stuff is really good. Now I'm going to mix this together and let the vegetables marinate together in the seasoning. I'm going to taste it now to see if the seasoning is how I like it. Here I got my daughter's spoon. Mm, I think it needs a tad more salt and pepper. So we're going to add more salt. We're going to add more black pepper. We're going to add more parsley. Uh, we're going to add more of uh, lemon juice. You just have to season it as you're tasting as you go in a little bit more of olive oil. I'm going to mix this together again. I'm going to get my daughter's fork. Taste it again. Yes, it tastes good. So I'm just going to mix it a little bit more. Now this I'm going to put it in the fridge until I cut the avocados and start putting the fillings in. We're going to cut up some chives and also we're going to add some feta cheese to the avocados. So this is how the pico de gallo looks before I put it in the fridge. I have an avocado here that I grabbed from the glass bowl and I'm about to cut it. I have a pot holder here that it's for grit purposes and I'm going to put the avocado on top. I have the knife. I'm going to cut it in half in a circular motion as you can see. This pot holder really really helps in giving it a good grip. It's not even so I'm going to cut it again. There it goes. I'm going to twist it. And there you see the seed. We're going to take the seed out. We're going to grab the pot holder again for grip. We're going to kind of like snap the seed towards the left and it comes out. So we're going to grab a kitchen towel and take it out of the knife. So we're going to do the same thing with the other avocados. Here I have these avocados in this beautiful white plate and I'm about to put the pico de gallo filling on top of them with some chives. I am going to again mix a little bit before I put it in the avocado. You can put as much as you like. Now we're going to add some chives.
So it's done. But me, I like some cheese, so we're gonna add some cheese. Again, you can add whatever cheese you like. So now to my liking, it's done. I could use a little bit of um, olive oil and lemon. And here you have it, the Haas avocado with pico de gallo.